Welcome back to ACTV. Today we are going to be talking about cake, cupcake, cake slice flavors that are fall but not pumpkin. Uh, pumpkin deserves its own episode, so we're gonna leave that out for today. And some people don't like pumpkin, so these flavors are meant to be inspiring for fall. They're warm flavors, um, but not pumpkin. So take what you want from this and use it just as inspiration, maybe with what you have on hand. Uh, you don't have to do everything exactly like this. It's just to get you thinking about different flavor ideas and combinations. So these can be done in cake, cupcake, or cake slices. Um, I'm gonna do cake jars today because it's what I have on hand. Okay, so our first flavor is going to be a hazelnut white mocha. So I have white velvet cake. You could use any white cake that you have. I'm gonna put that in my jar. And I prepared a hazelnut espresso buttercream to go with this. So there's a bunch of different ways you can flavor your buttercream to make an espresso. If you don't have an espresso machine on hand like we do in the bake shop, um, certainly you could just take ground espresso powder that you can find pretty much at any grocery store um, or take some coffee grounds and infuse them into your buttercream. Um, I really like this because it has the espresso flex in there. So, you know, sometimes what you see is what you taste and it kind of just all goes together. Um, and then I added hazelnut extract to give it that hazelnut flavor. I am going to add in some crushed Ferrero Rochers in here, which goes perfect with this flavor. So obviously um, it's got a really milky center, um, so it can get a little messy. And then I'm gonna top with another piece of white velvet cake. Another dollop of hazelnut espresso. It'd be nice if we could put the whole thing in there. That would be cute. It's gold. Do a couple more pieces just like that. Here we have it. There's our first flavor, hazelnut white mocha. All right, our next flavor is going to be salted caramel apple pie. So I am starting with a churro cake base that we have. It's probably my favorite cake. Uh, it's a cinnamon infused batter and then halfway through layering the cake um, into the pan, we add a layer of cinnamon sugar, which you can see a little bit right there. It's so good. So I'm gonna start with that in there. I've prepped my spiced cinnamon buttercream. I love this too, because you can see those flecks of the cinnamon spice. I'm going to add apple pie filling and salted caramel. Another layer, more buttercream. And we just need a little sprinkle of cinnamon sugar with our salted caramel. And we've got salted caramel apple pie. Third flavor, we are gonna do chocolate Bailey's espresso. I like coffee all year round, but it's nice for the fall too. Warm, cozy. So I've got a chocolate fudge cake here. Um, and our, our chocolate cake has coffee infused into it, so this flavor is gonna pair really nicely. So I did Bailey's espresso buttercream for this. I did not put any um, espresso grounds into this frosting just because I didn't want that look, um, but it just goes to show there's another way that you can make espresso buttercream. You don't have to put the grounds, you don't have to put a shot, it's however you like and with whatever you have on hand. So this does have a shot of espresso and Bailey's, but no espresso grounds like the other flavor that we did. And this, I'm gonna add a little bit of chocolate sauce in here. Another layer of chocolate cake. Layer of frosting again. And then I'm gonna add some crushed chocolate covered espresso beans on top. These are really hard to crush, by the way. Um, I would suggest using a food processor to get them a little bit more fine than this, but they are delicious. Next flavor, we are going to do carrot. That's great any time of the year. I have a Hawaiian carrot. Uh, our Hawaiian carrot recipe has, of course, carrots, um, pineapple, crushed pineapple, and golden raisins. So I'm pairing this with a caramel cream cheese buttercream. Super delicious. And then I've got some caramel sauce. Another layer. All right. 
There we go. Now it looks finished. And our fifth flavor, which I can't try because it has bacon, um, everybody raves about when they come into the bakery. Our staff loves it. It's going to be maple bourbon bacon. So I'm just starting with a base of vanilla bean cake. You could do a maple cake if you wanted, um, but I think there's a lot of maple flavor from everything else that we really don't need that for the cake as well. So I have a maple bourbon buttercream, and I used maple extract, maple syrup, and bourbon, and folded it into the buttercream. So I'm going to add some almonds here that have maple sugar on them. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of maple syrup in here. A little bit of bacon and crush it up. We're gonna add this final layer of cake. So for my circles, I usually, uh, if I have any leftover cake or I bake a sheet cake, I just use about a two inch round circle cutter to cut them out so they fit in here perfectly. Put that in there. Add a little buttercream. A little bit more of the syrup on top, but actually let's do some of the bacon. And then the maple over. All right, and that's our final and fifth flavor, maple bacon bourbon. Okay, to recap our flavors, we have a hazelnut white mocha, a chocolate Bailey's espresso, a Hawaiian carrot with caramel cream cheese, a salted caramel apple pie, and a maple bacon bourbon. All fall warm flavors that all are very, very delicious and not pumpkin. Um, again, you know, these are just used for inspiration. Take what you have on hand or what you have in your kitchen and just play with flavors. Uh, that's the fun part of all of this. Uh, if you have any questions or you have any unique fall flavors that are not pumpkin, please let us know. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys.